the Honourable Minister for Intergovernment Relations. Thank you, Mr. Acting Speaker. I seek leave of Parliament to respond to question asked by Honourable Member for Karawagi on the 11th of January this year, as well as being repeated today. Is leave granted? Honourable Minister, make your speech. Thank you, Acting Speaker. I thank, thank you for the opportunity to respond to the member for Karawagi on this question without notice that was asked on the 11th of January 2023 regarding the status of Rural Service Development Project, or RSDP, in Karawagi District, Chimbu, province and elsewhere in Papua New Guinea. I then assure the honorable member and the house that I will seek advice from the department and respond to the member in that sitting of the parliament or letter sitting. However, this didn't transpire because I felt ill of that session. Hence, I will now respond. <coughs> By way of background, I wish to inform the member and this Honorable House that RSDP is a World Bank funded rural service develop delivery program that complements DSIP and PSIP projects. The national government secured a concessional loan of 23 million US dollars in 2017 from the World Bank for this important project. The Department of Provincial, Local Level and Government Affairs is the implement, implementing and oversight agency of this project, which aims to implement tangible project identified by local communities themselves at the world level based on priorities and the needs of those communities. The desired outcome of RSDP is empowering and transforming rural communities to improve qualities of life, qualities of life there. For the last four years, we have had drawn down nearly 30% of the World Bank funding for a total of 256 project proposals throughout the nation particularly those provinces that are involved. There have been delays in project implementation due to external causes, such as COVID-19 and the national election that recently concluded, impacting on the overall delivery of the project along with internal challenges. Mr. Acting Speaker, the program is currently being implemented in five provinces. Central, East New Britain, Chimbu, Western, and West Sipic provinces. A total of 19 districts and 20 LLGs in these provinces are participating in this important project. Some of 256 project proposals have been identified, out of which 29 are targeted at women's grouping. Examples of this project, community project are construction of eight posts, construction of classrooms and teachers' houses, water catchments projects, bridges, community halls, solar power, and livelihood project for women and mothers. East New Britain is the only province that has already into implementation phase, starting with Raruana LLG, followed by Chimbu province with Central and Western, uh, however, not far away from full implementation of this project. There is LLG counterpart contribution an amount of 70,000 that is required as counterpart fund uh, contribution. 
these funds are equally shared with selected wards, and when total project funding for each project proposals at what level is finally vetted by, by the communities. My department is working with all levels of government in trying to make systems of government work in the provinces, districts and LLGs, and including wards. And this project is one of the most important intervention to make sure projects at ward levels are delivered. Mr. Acting Speaker, Chimbu province alone has highest number of project proposals, numbering some 53 in total, that are awaiting drawdown of funds from World Bank. A total of four LLGs in the province are participating in four districts, namely Kumai Bomai LLG in Gumini, Suai LLG in Sinasina, Yongumo, Siena LLG in Suave, and Gena Wagula in Kerawagi. The selection of districts and LNG projects were done by provincial administration. For Kerawagi, whilst all the wards had opportunity to submit their expression of interest, only 14 project proposals, including two women's groups, were identified and selected by communities and approved. During the first quarter of this year, my department will carry out outstanding activities that will need to be completed in Kerawagi District and the Chimbu Province as a whole. This process is my department to complete Ward Development Committee, followed by LNG Development Committee endorsement. Once this process is completed, then we will move into Ward Development Grant Agreement signing to open ward accounts to transfer funds to start implementing the actual projects. I want to assure the honorable member that process of Kerawagi will be undertaken in the first quarter of this year. A total cost of 14 project proposal for his district is estimated at around about 1.2 million. Mr. Speaker, I must also inform the honorable member that part of the delay is also due to following stringent financial management guidelines put in place by World Bank. And as implement agency, we are in compliance. Thus, my department only receives funds if and when we acquit project related expenses to the World Bank. Likewise, this experience are also passed down to our communities throughout the country. I hope that Forgoen clar clarifies the status of this project for member for Kerawagi. I thank the House for listening.